If you haven't watched the uh, part one and part two, please watch it now. Um, I think I'll put the links in the description. And if, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Okay, first, um, you should know how to get in this thing into orbit. Um, yeah, here's the first stage. It's yeah, some feel we made actually. I'll do a tutorial on that soon. Um, okay, first, um. Send it to Minas. First, you should target Minas. Freaking asteroid. And I don't really care about descending and ascending nodes because you're going to orbit it anyway. So whatever. Yes, this is best. No interruptions. And ah, see, there we have an encounter. Ah, um, let me check. And yes, we have an encounter. Now let's um prepare for the burn. Yeah. Okay. And once you have done that, um, just execute the burn. Um. Uh, yeah. Later. Orbit. And yes, please try and make it low. Um, you can use the remaining fuel in the second stage to do a retrograde burn. Oh yeah, right. Um, where's the probe called? Also, um, if you notice it's weird, that's opposite. Yes, I know. Um, let's control from the octo. Um, control from here. Yes. Um, try to do this on daylight, so now will be a good time. You can use the remaining fuel in the second stage to do a retrograde burn. You can target an interesting spot if you like. Um, Yeah, let's target an interesting spot right here and retrograde. No, you, you can use up the remaining fill. Oh crap. Never mind, plan had changed. Uh, just time wrap. Uh, don't use, use the auto time wrap feature, don't do it yourself. You'll end up messing it up. I'm sure you will. I've done that before. Don't do it. Um, the way I do is by doing quick thrust while on the descent. And then once you touch the floor or going near the floor, immediately decouple. And then get this max throttle and make it fly away so it won't crash down. On your rover. Now just wait. Um by the way I did some small edits with this. You should watch tutorials finish before you do anything, so please don't comment previously. I removed the engines. I removed sorry, I removed the batteries because um I realized that the RTGs provides enough constant power with the wheels. If the wheels have some traction control, yeah, set it to like two point three or something. And even with the lights on, it'll do fine. I also tilt, tilted the these and the spark engines outwards and moved them outwards too. Cause always they'll like the thrust will be directed over here and it'll make the engines disintegrate. Um, come to think of it, this is actually a pretty bad spot. <laughs> Let's go there. Um, I know that plenty.
plenty of extra fill, so just don't, don't just don't do too much stuff. God, this mech is getting hot. Okay, um, now just slowly descend, take your time. If you don't want the wheels to describe, you activate brakes and good luck. Um, while you're in orbit, we want to auto save, no, a uh, quick save, sorry. You, really, you can do it yourself. Uh, we actually have plenty of fuel. You can leave this upper stage attached if you like. Though your center of gravity will be much higher. Mm -hmm. oh. oh god, this is taking so long. Okay. Mm, what's that? Never mind. You know, I'm starting to think that if you decouple it, you should probably have enough delta V to get into orbit. Just a thought, you know. Um, at this point, you should start slowing down. Try to make it less than 10 meters per second while touching down. You can zoom out to see how close you are to the ground too. You can replicate this for the man, though you probably need to go less than 10 meters per second, uh, probably 5 meters per second as the man has more gravity. Do the uh, use the Z and X keys to quickly trust. Oh, we are quite near the ground already. You can also um, add science equipment to the rover. Slow and steady. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> this is not a bad idea actually, having a uh, two parts. Um wait, this survived? Wow. Are you kidding me? Okay. Never mind a switch here. I hate you, KSP. 